The most frustrating thing about romantic relationships is that it's hard to spot issues before sharing a living together, and then it becomes difficult to break apart. But what if I told you that everything you need to know already lies in front of your eyes, and that you just need to pay attention carefully to the nuances that you get along the first dates? Just take into account that none of these signs is a strict evidence of anything, but if you notice that the majority of these signs exist, you are more likely dealing with a selfish or narcissistic type of person. 1. When they barely listen to what you have to say. During the first conversations, you should pay attention to the mutual balance between both sides. It's absolutely fine if one side is more verbal than the other and tends to speak more, but it is not fine if you are patient and tolerant and they fail to be patient enough to let you finish speaking and interrupt while you are speaking, time after time. Another possible sign is when the things that bother you are perceived as a lack of sensitivity and their criticism is heard and mostly accepted. Moreover, if they are critical types yet they can barely tolerate criticism, that is a red flag that you cannot afford to miss. 2. When they insist that you should accept their terms, without compromise, on several different issues. It is natural and perfectly normal that each one of us has his own preferences about things and holds different opinions. But in order to build a healthy relationship, each one of the sides has to manifest a willingness to compromise. If you notice that they refuse to compromise once or twice, it is justified that you make the first steps toward the other side as a gesture of goodwill while mentioning that you do expect them to compromise with you on the next time. However, if you notice that the other side consistently refuses to make the required efforts to compromise back with you, that is a clear red flag. 3. When they refuse to tolerate things about you that seem to be normal. If they ask you to text them before you go any unusual place, or what if they ask you to quit some relationships you are having? Would you accept these or not? Not all requests in relationships are legitimate. Sometimes the difference is subtle, and it is hard for you to determine. Usually the thumb rule is that your instincts don't lie. If something smells bad to you, it probably is. The best way to affirm that is to take advice from people around you. You can ask them anonymously, and it should give you the confidence to tell whether their request is legitimate or is a red flag you should notice. 4. When they expect you to serve them and they seem to lack appreciation. It is great to do gestures during the first dates and along the relationships. But doing gestures is one thing, and expecting you to be their full-time waitress is another. Pay attention if they ask you to do small things for them excessively, beyond what you would expect. In addition, you should be highly attentive if your gestures are answered with a minimal extent of appreciation by them. If you find the combination of these two traits, take into account that you will soon find yourself exhausted and frustratingly bitter. 5. When they hardly ever apologize and take responsibility for their side. Being able to acknowledge mistakes is an important quality that both sides should acquire to maintain a healthy relationship. Having said that, most people will not voluntarily acknowledge their own mistakes, especially if they feel attacked. They will automatically turn into a defensive or offensive mode so that they will either justify themselves or throw the responsibility to the other side. Still, if you approach them by first acknowledging your own mistake, apologizing, and taking responsibility from your side, and they still refuse to see their responsibility, or they continue to justify their actions, time after time, that is a red flag, and you will find yourself soon exhausted with infinite arguments trying to explain yourself over and over again. 6. When they are not voluntarily suggesting to share the costs. When dating for the first time, it is still common for the man to offer to pay the bill. Even for the second and the third time, depending on different mentalities and circumstances. However, if it seems that they always forget about their part when it is time to pay the cost, at a restaurant, party, or a bar, that is a red flag. I suggest you wouldn't raise this issue for the first dates, but simply wait to see if they will come up with it. If they don't, it's probably because they either think that it is your job to pay the costs, 
or either they are not ethical enough to suggest paying by themselves. In both cases, that's a really bad sign that you should be aware of. 7. When they are very picky about things. Are they very selective when ordering food in a restaurant or a bar? Are they taking a longer time to reach simple and daily decisions? Are they picky about hotels or vacations? Do they want everything around to be perfect? Are they neat freaks? Being very picky does not necessarily indicate that someone is selfish, but that is definitely another important issue in relationships that may cause frustration and friction that you should take into consideration. I hope this video helped you setting a better perspective on your relationship. It really helps writing things down right after they occur, so you could come back to it and see if things add up into a noticeable pattern or not, and if the issues you are having are frequent enough to be a problem or not.